You can experiment with your investments. Choose the stocks you like one by one, or select sector spider ETFs and add the diversification of an entire sector of the S&P 500, like healthcare. With liquidity, all day tradability, and transparency. Ready to add diversification to your equity investments? Before investing, consider the fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Go to SectorSpiders.com for perspectives containing this information. Read it carefully. Visit us at SectorSpiders.com. Target date retirement funds have amassed around $650 billion and are popular choice inside retirement funds, not because people actually want them or because they're good, but because they make the process of saving and investing for retirement much easier. But is it good for investors? Here to talk with us about that is Ron Sears. He's president of PPCA. His firm specializes in portfolio construction. Ron, welcome to Marketplace Minute. Great to catch up with you. Thank you. Let's begin by talking about target date funds and what are they and how are they uh, supposed to work? Okay, target date funds are designed to start with high risk and then through time reduce the risk. And they've been used for some time for college savings plans. You know, where you have invest for your grandchildren or, or your, your children to go to college. Um, but more recently they've been used in 401k plans for participants. And they became popular after the Pension, Pension Protection Act of 2006. So the idea there is for the young employee to take more risk, to be more aggressive, and then as the employer, employee gets older, to be more defensive and protect those assets. Now, what about this idea that a person's investment mix should be based upon the year that they retire? I mean, isn't that just wrong? Doesn't it give people a, a false sense of financial security? Talk about that. Well, one of the uh, valid criticisms of target date funds, and there's many, and I guess we're going to talk about some of those others as well, but a valid criticism of target date funds is, is that it's one size fits all. So, but I, that said, I think there are major benefits for target date funds, and those are diversification and risk control that the participant probably wouldn't do on his own, and realize that most of the money in target date funds is there from people who can't make a decision. They don't feel qualify to decide how much risk or how little risk. So they, they give it over to their employer and he tries to do the best he can. Vanguard, Fidelity, and T. Rowe Price are capturing around 75% of all money that flows into target date funds and all of them exclusively use funds from their own families. In other words, nepotism reigns with target date funds. Now beyond ethical questions, could this practice of fund families featuring their own funds be a hidden problem for retirement savers? Yeah, that it's a possible problem. There's a lot of distinctions without a difference that go on in, in the target date fund uh, arena and, and, and in other areas as well. Uh, open or closed architecture is, is one that gets a lot of discussion. And the, the idea of closed is it's all proprietary funds. Open is you allow you know, competing products into your, into your, into your uh, base. It turns out that doesn't matter. Uh, some of the other distinctions without a difference are two or through. And I, I want to go through that for, for this this. this purpose, but uh, I think the real problem with those three firms controlling the industry is that fiduciaries are not vetting their target date fund choice. And those three fund companies are the biggest bundled service providers. So they are getting the target date fund assets basically out of laziness and convenience on the, on the part of plan sponsors. And I think Many plan sponsors view that they are safe from a fiduciary perspective because, first of all, any QDIA, Qualified Investment Alternative, will do. And secondly, everybody's using T. Rowe, Fidelity, and Vanguard, so how can you go wrong? ERISA attorneys say otherwise. They say that fiduciaries have the duty of care, which means they need to try. They, 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 there's no guarantee, but they need to at least try to find the best. And as good as Fidelity, T. Rowe, and Vanguard are, they're great fund companies there are much better target date funds on the market. During the 2008 financial crisis, target date funds that were allegedly conservative got creamed with the rest of the stock market. Now here's what our viewers want to know. What improvements or changes within the target date industry or target date funds have been made since the 2008 crash to prevent another future meltdown? Uh, in terms of risk control, none. And, and that's absolute crime. 
the research attorneys that I've been talking to expect to bring class action suits when the next 2008 happens. And the premise will be uh, multifold. But one will be, what did you not learn from 2008? And the fund company has taken the position, no harm, no foul, we made that money back. But the truth is, those people who were in, in near retirement in 2008 took their money out. And they did not enjoy, because most of them didn't invest in equity, so they did not enjoy the rebound. But secondly, and this, this is really critical in terms of the magnitude of the, of the next uh, crisis, in 2008, there was about $200 billion in target date funds. Today, 650, I, I really think the number is closer to a trillion. So the magnitude of the problem is, 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 is huge. And I, I think what's going on here is the fund companies are expecting a performance horse race. And they're expecting equities to win over the long run. So there, those three firms are 40 to 50% in equities at the target date. Those three firms lost 25% in 2008 in their 2010 fund. So much too much equity exposure. Second to that, most of the balance of the assets are in long-term bonds. And we know today, with interest rates near zero, chances are more likely rates will go up than down. Yes. So those, those long-term bonds are risky. Yes. So we're looking at a very risky portfolio near the target date. Great interview. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. You just heard from Ron Sears, president of PPCA. His firm specializes in portfolio construction. I'm Ron DeLegge with ETF Guide. Thanks for watching Marketplace Minute.